Camden Lock Market in North London, one of the biggest and busiest street markets in Europe. A launch pad for budding entrepreneurs. If you've got a product that sells, then your business can grow. But don't try and run before you can walk. Mid-afternoon in a flat in Bow, East London. A consignment of teas being unpacked. So I know you want some robots. We've got another one, which is mango, peach and passion fruit. Vietnam-born Trinh Huan is a 27-year-old businesswoman well, it, in a hurry. I feel, no, I don't mind. I just feel really bad we haven't got the citrus one here yet. Together with Canadian partner Sean, she's pioneered a range of speciality yum cha teas. OK, so it's five kilos. Oh, this is the bad boy. This is the one we love. Yeah, this is our favourite. We get a lot of traditional tea drinkers. So they want something more exciting than what's in a tea bag. Then they'll want to try something like this. See, that's... That's chocolate caramel. It's one of the ones that people get addicted to, and that's why they keep coming back to us. But you that's can see why the we order in 10-kilogram bags. Yeah. Oh, no. What have you done? Error. You know, you've got all those big cooks out there doing crazy things with food, and I think that's what we offer. That, that little kind of, ooh, wow, tea. That is really nice. Yeah. Yum Cha Teas are selling well at Camden and have expanded into three more London markets. Sarah Swells is another successful businesswoman. After art school, she tried to make it as a graphic designer but couldn't get a job, so she turned to T-shirts. In four years, she's built a substantial business. I'm doing quite well for quarter to ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Been to a party, so this one I'm just like, oh no, I really don't want to be here. But <laughs> but I've got to like my friends last night were trying to persuade me not to come to the market, but um, it's just like when I've just got to turn up because. Um, you know, it's my job and it's my only income, so... Um, yeah, I went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I'm feeling really bad and just like, oh, no, my head, but... Sarah's paw print T-shirts sell at £19. Pricey for Camden, but popular. If I can sell 10 T-shirts, then I'll be kind of happy with that, yeah. 10, 11 T-shirts, so... I'm kind of aiming for that every day. If I can make, like, £200, um, that's sort of average, and then anything on top of that is a bonus, really, so... Yeah. She sells 10 animal designs in 16 different sizes, but more guinea pigs than the rest put together. Probably nine times out of ten, people are, like, just home in on the guinea pig. It's really bizarre. <laughs> Who'd have thought guinea pigs would be so popular? <laughs> mm. But it also doubles as a hamster as well, so... <laughs> Sarah developed the animal theme at art school and has been refining it ever since with her partner, Peter. But, um, yeah, I mean, I started designing these at college and um, I had, like, a few different animals. And I just draw loads of little faces and just... I mean, sometimes I have to draw it, like, a hundred times before it's right. You can kind of see, sort of, here the, the process that's going on. But I've, I just design, like, draw loads and loads and loads. And then, eventually, you get one that you're happy with. This was the rabbit, originally. Um, quite mean looking, and then went to this one. 
um, sort of a lot smoother, but with the same eyes. And then at the end, the eyes have changed. The eyes have come a lot rounder and a lot softer. I think it was more like a hair before, but now it's just like a, a bunny. <laughs> Although people still find it quite mean looking. That needs changing there. What is it? Trin employs her brother David, sister and aunt to pack and sell tea, while she tries to focus on expansion and quality control. Does this man that actually needs changing? Change that we changed that last weekend. Then something's wrong with the bag. It doesn't smell as it should. No, it doesn't at all. Okay. Right. Well, now, like, customer services manager. Oh, yeah, you're a customer know. services manager, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's what we've called oh, right. you. Business, business plan. plan. Oh, no. OK, have you got a pen? Yes, I have a pen. OK, then. Okay, all right, have a good day. See you later. See you. Cool. Tell me which bags we want later. See you guys. Yeah. yeah okay. OK, bye bye. Trin comes from a family of entrepreneurs, but families and business don't always work. If I wasn't doing this, my dad would probably have David working for him, but that wouldn't go too well, cos, um... Well, David is challenging. <laughs> if we're not working together, then he's just my brother. I'll be like, OK, I've got to go and do some work, and I'm going to the bank. He's like, are you going to the bank? Can you pay some bills for me? And I'm just like, hang on, would you ask your boss to pay bills for you, cos I am your boss? <laughs> but he's really cheeky. David is so cheeky. <laughs> but selling's in the blood. They smell good. Yep. They smell very good and they wow. taste even better. Where are you guys from? Uh, the States. Why is it everyone from the States? If you ask them where are you from, they always say the States, but not exactly. Portland, the, um, Oregon. You say Portland, Oregon, you go where? It's true, where? Where's that near? Where is it near? Because <laughs> I'm going to Texas soon. Uh, it's nowhere near Texas. Okay. We, on the West Coast, mm -hmm. it's above California. Yeah? Seems like a really n nice, relaxed place because you guys seem very happy. <laughs> it's a good place to be from. It is a good place. It's a good kickback, laid-back place to be from. Good place to take some tea back to as well, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. I like yeah. that. What a smooth segue. Yeah, that yeah that thank was you. Good. Yeah. If you look at this, this is a broken leaf. And if you see the size of that, yeah. tea in a tea bag is even smaller. It's something called de tea dust, which is what you get at the bottom of the machine, because it brews a lot faster. But yeah, you only need about this much for the green tea. Yeah, how about if I get the... Oh, no. Mango sunrise and mm -hmm. chai red. Yeah, no, yeah. And with a tea ball, can I yeah. get the tin? That's right. fine. Hooray. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your time here. Well, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You can get mark my sheet now. This is the cell sheet that my sister designed, and it makes life so easy. We called her operations manager. Yeah. <laughs> Does she work for you full time? No, she doesn't. Um, she just she works for me whenever she's talking to me. But <laughs> Trim wants to open a covered tea shop at Camden. The management are interested, but want to see a business plan first. The general blueprint of the unit will follow this pattern here. So you can see where the cobbles are. Okay. Yeah. We know that we have. Um, Drainage and we can get access to water. Are we talking here two months, four months, six months? I would say minimum two. But um, speed we things can up. Speed things up and get it moving relatively quickly. That's quite good actually. Works quite well for us. Good. Yeah. Sarah wants to find more outlets on the high street. I've never really crossed my mind to get a shop at the moment because it's so much more money than a market stall and making that jump is like a massive jump from a stall to a, to a shop. I think I'm going to just stick with the three stalls and, um, and just concentrate on selling to shops now. The buyer in or the person? That's me. That's you. Um, yeah, I do children's t-shirts. I don't know if you'd be interested in having a look at a few samples. Um, I'll certainly have a look. Okay. Do you make them yourself? I make or? them myself, yeah. Um, they're all produced in the UK. I don't import any of the stock. Right. Um, they're all animal um, oh, design. Right. I do one to two, three to four, five to six, and seven to eight years. And you can choose red, green, or blue. And they're screen printed as well, so they don't peel or crack. They're not transferred. Right. So they are really good quality. I've actually got a leaflet that I can leave with you as well. Have you? I was going to say, yeah. as I say, we have kind mm -hmm. 
got the t-shirts that yeah. we need, but they're very appealing. <coughs> yeah, um, yeah, they're very. If you graphic. are interested, yeah. Um, so we might get in touch. So with they're you all the, the different autumn. animals, right. and you can basically choose any size, any color t-shirt, any, and any animal. Yeah. Okay. Trin's younger brother David's a good salesman, but not such a good timekeeper. There he is. Look at the contrition on his face. Look at how upset he looks at being late. Consistently being late can lose you your stall on the market. Yeah, I figured you were going to be pretty close anyways. You probably, did I just wake you up? Is that why you were kind of like, oh my god, I'm going to be late? A few, uh, no, about five minutes before that. I'm still right. kind of laying in bed. <laughs> Like, David's target today is, uh... Don't say it, you're going to jinx me. What? Don't say it, you're going to jinx me. Yeah, I'm not going to say it, because I'm going to jinx him. David's target today is, is high-ish, but not for a Sunday at Camden. He should actually be aiming about 75 pounds higher uh, than any target we give him. And for the most part, like, he normally comes through and hits that. Yep. So if you like it nice and deep and dark and strong, they work really, really well. That one especially. She's got a little bits of chocolate, a little bits of caramel in there. Oh. So when you brew it, it all melts and infuses into the tea. What's wrong with that? Chocolate gives it a really kind of uh, smooth kind of cream, uh, creaminess. And if you like milk in there, oh, it just on. enhances the flavor. You're a good salesman. Thank you. <laughs> right. Don't mean to be pushy. But if I get but, three, I can have it for a ten. Round. Exactly. Because you've got the two, and if yeah. you want the third, the third one. The uh, lemon The sorbet. lemon as well. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice day. Hello. Feel free to give the teas a smell if you like. The Yum Char Empire hasn't yet reached Canary Wharf but it's the location for the sales force's Monday afternoon planning meeting, all bar two. Brother David, customer services manager, and sister Hong, company secretary, are late. Again. Can you get her to give me a call when she gets out of the shower? I can't wait, no, honestly, I can't wait until we have new people and we can say, no, you're not working. We was up until really late last night. Yeah. That's why I got What happened to your alarm clock? Uh, set it. So why couldn't you set it? Because 3 o'clock is a really late meeting. Usually we have these at 12. I know. And it's 4.15. Let's just go over the, the sales, David sales this weekend with him very quickly. OK. So overall, strange week. Really weird. Really weird. Don't understand it. You're okay on Friday. Yeah. You're really good on Sunday. Yeah. And really you're worse good. than a, a beginner on Saturday. Okay, um, some things first, right? First thing we want you to do is when you get to a store, yeah. the first thing you do, even if you can't get through to the phone, yeah. is you leave a message on the phone, uh -huh. just letting us know. Basically, you're logging in. Yeah. That's what it's like, because we don't know what time you're turning up. 15 minutes later, Sister Hong arrives. Trin's planning to take on new staff, so wants her brother and sister to set an example. You know that once we've got these people, everything has to be set in place. You have to follow it, you guys can't be late, because when you get late, then we're going to have to penalise you like we penalise everyone else. Yeah. Don't smile. <laughs> well, it's not funny. No, it will be done. Shut up. <laughs> when we do this, though, we really need to get this nailed this month, because... Um, with the shop coming up that they're building in Camden, I can't, I really can't work on stock. I can't do any of this, because I need to write the proposal. Seven red. Yeah. Six blue. Yeah. Do we need any horses? No, uh, not mediums, no. No smalls either? No. Every Monday, Sarah and Peter stock take, planning ahead for the week's markets. Oh, no, there's only one red. You're joking me. Building their business gradually has allowed them to buy in bulk. 600 T-shirts for two grand, reducing their unit costs. In the beginning, I didn't have any of any. All I had was what I had on the market and then blank T-shirts. So I'd spend the week printing up for the weekend. So I wasn't actually spending any money on printing. Since she started, Sarah's worked with the same silkscreen printer, Tony, 
and paid the same rate. I started getting each animal printed at a time, so like the guinea pig, I knew that I could maybe afford the guinea pig and the pig to get printed up, get a hundred of each. I never really had like cash flow problems. I never got into debt. She pays 75p a print. It probably should be really nearer, um, probably about a pound 20, something like that. You know, if I put my prices up to her, she might not be able to sell as much, so I wouldn't get so much work back in return. So it covers the, it's not, it's not an earner. I know Sarah's only a little, a little business, as am I, so it's a bit of stick togetherness, I think. I'm focusing on the green teas. Which one's so spice, mate? So spice mm. is got orange and clove. Sean's training up a new salesman, Reuben. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. I'll, I'll hit every four out of six people right. as they're walking by, especially on a busy day. It gets really too bad. So then what you do is you just kind of throw it out there and see who turns around and looks. Yeah. Those people you nod to and say, hey, how's it going? Mm. How's your day going? Yeah. The only time you ever want to ask them something is when you know they're going to say yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you never say, would you like to smell the tea? Right. Because they'll say no. <laughs> Once they've said no the first time, they're going to keep going. Mm. Uh, so example, like what you want to do is, um, like here for example, hello. Feel free to smell the teas if you like. Give them a try. And a lot of times you get blanked. Like to smell the tea? Like to smell tea? Blank. So, mm. Don't ask him yes or no questions. OK. Would you like to smell the tea? Yeah. And also... So what do you want to say, Say then? hi first. Say, hey, how's it going? Good morning. Yeah. Catch them when they're there. And then by the time they get there, just go, oh, by the way, feel free, pick up the teas, give them a smell. Yeah. Be nice first. OK. And sell second. All right? Yeah. So there's a few people coming. I'm going to let you get to yeah, it. Yeah, cool, mate. Go on. Mm. There's people walking by. Yeah. These uh, red teas are caffeine free. Yeah. So if you don't like your caffeine, then uh, these are for that. And then these green teas are high in antioxidants, uh -huh. so they're actually good for stopping the aging of the skin. Ruben left Yumchar after two weeks, so Trin's back on the stool. Ordering in bulk means Sarah can cut her prices to shops. She's got an appointment with the owner of a Notting Hill boutique, who she met on the market. It's just taken me so long to kind of get my wholesale prices right as well, because I was doing all the printing before by myself. And so now I'm getting like bigger orders and oh, I could God. bring my prices down. So I remembered you and I thought, yeah. right, OK, I'm going to give yeah, it. Give it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's such good time as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I've done a sort of, I've got a little budget. That's all right, it's 250. All yeah. oh, right, brilliant. Um, yeah, that's fine. It, um, so, and I've sort of done, worked out what I'd like anyway. Okay. So, um, so yeah. three, 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 three. Three. Uh, 262 altogether. OK. But, yeah, I'll just give you a call. So yeah, so actually mid-October would be perfect for me because yeah. I've got quite a lot of things to pay for sort of um, coming now. I've just had a load of shoes delivered, so okay. actually that would be really perfect right. for me. OK, brilliant. Yeah. A consignment of tea's gone missing. The last time my sister did this, she went all the way to the depot and they didn't actually have her tea. So that's good in. With the business plan still incomplete, Trin's personnel problems are piling up. I don't know what's happening with David, so we don't actually know if he's working tomorrow or not. He phoned at 8.30 to say he was running late. Sean went and opened up Camden. Pong is out in the store, even though she needs to pack tea. There's going to be a backlog of tea to pack tonight for tomorrow's market. Hong and I were supposed to have a meeting today, so we could look at what we want to do um, leading up to Christmas. No one's working on what they should be working on. Everyone's doing somebody else's job right now. But I've got the numbers. I actually do have the consignment numbers. The missing boxes of tea were sent to Trin's old address. It's fallen to her to go down to the sorting office. 
See, this is why every time you go, has the proposal been done yet? No. <laughs> what was it I read somewhere? It's all the... Um, there's the urgent stuff and the important stuff, and all the urgent stuff gets done and the important stuff never does. But there's no point knowing all of this if you don't apply it, and that's the hardest part. We're all strategy, no application. It's me and Sean right now. It is, that's how we feel. We just all, and nothing gets done. There's a lot of boxes. Five boxes. Five yeah, boxes. They're over there. Wonderful. Yeah. There's five DVD boxes on a pallet. Excellent. See, that's right, what have you got. A, have you got a vehicle? Yes, we do. I'll bring your car in. Thank you. Bring the car in? Yeah. OK, yes, then. These are your passports. Yes, they are. They're big, aren't they? Yeah. And heavy. And I know, they're so heavy. Would you believe me if I told you it's all tea? In ten years' time, there will be quite a few of the yum cha shops around London and we would have expanded over to North America. All I need to do is look back and think about my dad and my mum and just like all my friends' parents, they were all kicked out of Vietnam for being Chinese. A lot of them have started um, their own businesses. They may not be on the scale that I want to take it, but they've all managed to make lives for themselves and do very, very well. As long as we don't get bogged down with the tea packing and everything all the time, then it is absolutely cheerful. Okay. <laughs> For Sarah and Peter, every pound's precious. <laughs> Most traders say they constantly haven't to go to the bank to, uh, to, to change money, so they've got change to give the customers, but we never, ever have to go because we've just got the badges bringing in change all the time, because people just they come along, they give you a pound coin, and then... You know, we've always got plenty of change, so it's, they're quite useful in that respect, really, are they? They're determined not to grow their business too quickly. I imagine a lot of businesses, they, they try to run before they can walk, you know, and they and, and they've, and they've try to... They see the business on a grand scale and they, and, they, and they want to, you know, they want it to happen quickly for them, but I think with those, we've just been very steady and, and just let the business slowly progress, yeah, you know. Yeah, just build it up. For the very nice driver. Sure. At 8 o'clock on a Friday night, Trin's international ambitions seem some way off. Are you eating, hun? No. Yum Cha have had a miserable day. Of course. Was only a four, was all. OK. Excellent. Tea. Wonderful. This smells good. You... Two stools have taken barely enough to cover the rent, and the tea packing's going to take several more hours. I didn't get set up at Piccadilly until 1.30. Yeah. So I missed out on a very, very busy morning. Mm -hmm. And um, I made, like, 50 pounds. So tomorrow, when he shows up, are we letting him work? Um, no. No, cause, well, maybe yes, because I need to get the proposal done. That's the thing. No, this proposal has to get done. It has to be sent to okay, the Okay, so we're going to tell him he is working. Just put him on working for, like, if he turns up tomorrow, then we have him working because we need somebody there. Yeah. And then um, for the rest of next week, then he's not. Yeah. Okay. Trin's still working on her business plan, and David's still with the company, though he's now on an incentive scheme. 